we conducted the cold cut trial to test the hypothesis that the addition of the anti-inflammatory agent cochicine would reduce the rates of ischemic cardiovascular events after myocardial infarction compared to placebo. The reason we conducted this trial is that there is ample evidence suggesting that inflammation is a significant contributor to the initiation and to progression of cardiovascular disease and specifically atherosclerosis. Uh, specifically, uh, there are also lots of data suggesting that inflammation is involved in the destabilization of plaque and rates of recurrent events after myocardial infarction. And so we tested cochicine as a powerful anti-inflammatory agent, uh, which safety profile is well known, um, is orally administered, inexpensive, and already clinically available. And so cold cut included 4,745 patients uh, recruited within 30 days after an acute myocardial infarction. Patients were treated with a standard of care that includes two antiplatelet agents, the intensive use of statins, and in the vast majority of patients, uh, they underwent percutaneous coronary intervention, and they were then randomized to either low-dose cochicine, 0.5 milligrams per day, or matching placebo. The pre-specified primary endpoint was the composite of cardiovascular death, resuscitated cardiac arrest, myocardial infarction, stroke, or urgent hospitalization for angina requiring coronary revascularization. This pre-specified uh, primary endpoint was improved by 23% by the addition of cochicine versus placebo. Now, while all components of the primary endpoint contributed to this significant benefit, the benefit was driven mostly by improvements of strokes and urgent hospitalization for angina requiring coronary revascularization. We also evaluated the total burden of ischemic events, that is both first and recurrent cardiovascular events, and uh, that endpoint was improved by 34% by the addition of cochicine versus placebo. In terms of safety and tolerability, the drug cochicine was well tolerated, with uh, uh, low rates of gastrointestinal side effects like nausea. Uh, there was also a slight but significant increase in the occurrence of pneumonias, 0.9% versus 0.4% uh, with cochicine versus placebo. So globally, uh, the conclusion of cold cut is that the addition of cochicine on top of standard of care uh, improves rates of both first and recurrent events by 23 and 34 percent respectively compared to placebo in patients uh, with a recent acute myocardial infarction. Given that cochicine is already clinically available, is orally administered, is inexpensive and well tolerated, I believe that this agent can provide significant benefit to reduce uh, the risk of recurrent events in patients at high risk, that is those that have a recent myocardial infarction.